Thanks for watching Relocate to, with Beth. Um, so today I am doing a video, a little segment that I like to call this or that. Um, this comes as a request from one of my viewers, Ann Raven. Um, this one's for you and I hope that the rest of you will find this valuable as well. So we all know that there's loads of information online. Is it always accurate? No. Um, I have seen many an article saying that you can live like a king for $500, $800 a month. Um, most of my peeps are coming from first world countries, very modern amenities and lifestyles. And most of the time, that is what they're looking to obtain in Panama as well. Sorry, we have some background traffic noise because this house is in the little downtown of San Carlos. Okay, so I see all the time, or I receive all the time, requests for rentals, and it seems like there's two budgets. Now, I have had higher budgets and lower budgets, but the average, either someone is in the $800,000 bracket, or someone is in like the 15 to 1800 bracket. So today I'm gonna to show you two different homes so you can get a very clear idea on what you can get for what. So we're gonna start with this. This home is located in San Carlos. It's a very quaint beach town. Um, it's a beautiful garden, as you can see. And this house rents for $800 per month long-term. So let's go in and take a look so you can see what you can get for a, around 800 a month. Come with me. So obviously this home was built, it's an older home. It's Panamanian style. You have bars on the windows, bars on the doors, um, a smaller, more closed floor plan, and, and definitely older home. So this home is full of character. Um, it comes fully furnished. You can see the the kitchen is definitely an older style kitchen. Go ahead and take a look, cameraman. So you have a small gas stove. You have a washing machine. There is a sop sink. There's not a dryer, but there is a clothesline outside. And then if you come this way. So this is a three bed, one bath. Um, the third bedroom, you can take a look. Um, it's set up as an office. There aren't walk-in closets in um, most Panamanian style older homes. They do have closets. Hold on, this is putting the door on back on. This room does not have an AC. The owner has put new AC units in both bedrooms. So you do have a newer inverter AC split. You can see the windows. These are the older styles. Um, the glass slabs that wind up open and close. And then here we have the master. So one back. Um, <clears throat> this style of bathroom has the um, toilet in one room, and then you have the shower off to the side. And then let's take a peek outside. So the great thing about this property is it has a gorgeous outdoor area. Um, there's plenty of space for lounging, um, a couple of hammocks if you wish. It's a very, very large yard. It's fully fenced. It's got tons of beautiful landscaping. Um, so if someone had a dog, this would be a great property. But one thing you probably don't see over there is a pool. So this property does not come with a pool. Um, that is on a lot of people's requests. So here we have three bedrooms in the adorable town of San Carlos. I love San Carlos so much. This is actually the first place that I lived on my own after I had lived with my father and realized that as an adult, it's not always a great idea to move in with your parents. So I moved in to San Carlos and I love this little town. Um, but I hope this gives you a very clear idea of what you can get on an $800 a month budget. So now we're gonna take it to the higher budget and we're gonna go see that. So I will see you back in Hacienda Pacifica at a brand new build. So 
here we are in Hacienda Pacifica. Hacienda Pacifica is also in San Carlos. Um, it's just a little ways down the highway from where we just were. Uh, we are on the mountain side of things. Hacienda is a gated community, has beautiful, great roads, beautiful landscaping. Up the road there, you have an awesome river for bathing and a waterfall. Um, and there are three phases. We are in phase three, so this is the most recent one to be built. And we are actually at the very end of it. So this is on a corner lot, at the very end of the project, lots of peace and quiet. I've taken you from homes in like the 800 to thousand dollar range. And now we've kind of increased our budgets and we are going to see a home that is currently on the market for rent. It's a brand new build. Um, there's still some dust from the construction and the pool is yet to be completed. That's how brand new it is. But homes, homes are in such a high demand at the moment that it's really hard for me to get into them. So I wanted to take this opportunity so I can show you one while I can. The rental rate at the moment is 1600. It's semi-furnished. The owner is willing to furnish it. And in the event that the, that the renter needs it fully furnished, it will be 1800 a month. And with houses with pools, almost always, the landlord includes garden and pool maintenance. So as you can see, super modern. No bars on the windows, uh, very open floor plan, very light, very bright. Come on here, you can see a beautiful kitchen with lots of storage, granite countertops. Off to the side of the kitchen is a utility closet, which is not a common thing in kind of new style homes um, or older homes and the more modern ones it is. So plenty of storage. And then one thing that you don't see a lot of either is a garage. So here you have a two car garage. Plenty of space for two vehicles, or if you only have one vehicle, you can buy, a lot of people like to buy really cool ATVs that will fit nicely here as well, and you can zoom around the neighborhood. So come with me, and here's the left, we have a master, bathroom, a master bedroom with an on key. Again, walk-in closets. They do exist, they're not as common, but this does have uh, plenty of closet space. And then you have a nice modern bathroom off to the side. We come, so this is a three bed, three bath. Um, on the other end of the home, we have two bedrooms. Again, this one at the moment is not furnished. Owner willing to furnish it or a renter can bring their own. In Panama, 98% of the time, houses are rented fully furnished or semi-furnished. Um, so great open canvas, do what you want with it. And love the bathroom. Again, we have a, the third bathroom over here and the third bed. So the owner has decided to make it into an office. However, it could obviously be a third bedroom, office, gym, whatever makes the heart content. Okay, so again, as I have mentioned, the house literally was just completed, so the pool is not done, but it will be very soon. Very exciting. Um, this particular home is at the very end of the project. It's on a corner lot. It's an actually a double lot. It's huge, awesome yard. And um, plenty of peace and quiet and privacy, and eventually a sparkling blue and inviting swimming pool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video useful. Again, there are all kinds of different property types, and every property is unique. However, I wanted to give you a general idea of what you can get for what. So I wanted to cover the most popular budgets, which again is the 800 to $1,000 range or the 15 to 1800. Um, both are beautiful and I think it does help to know. Um, and obviously my goal in these videos is always to just give you Panama for real, like what it is, no sugar coating. Um, and obviously these prices and this information pertains to the Coronado and surrounding areas. You can find homes for less in other areas or for more. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. I'd love to hear from you guys. I loved this request for this video. If there's any topics that I haven't covered that you would love more information on, shoot it in the comments and let me know and I'll do my best to get it covered. 
Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on any of my future videos. And until next time, take care.